Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. This one is going up on a Wednesday, hump day. So if all you guys are having a good week so far, I do have a couple big live streams planned. The next one is going to be epic. So make sure to subscribe if you are new and hit the notification button. That'll let you know whenever we go live. In this video, I have to show off a new discovery here in Tall Trees. If you played the first Red Dead Redemption, you are probably familiar with this area. This is where you end the game at, and you have the final confrontation with Dutch. The only difference is that in that game, this area is filled with snow. So it's a little bit weird to see it look so different here in Red Dead Redemption 2. But we do have to find something which is on the outskirts of Aurora Basin. There's a Native American site that you can find tucked away in the back. Now we have found a trigger at one of the Native American sites near Mount Shan. It is a burial site where you throw a fire bottle at it. It'll start the fire and then all of a sudden a thunderstorm will be created. So it's almost like the gods are creating the rain to stop the fire. It's very interesting. And considering you have karma in this game, you know, that's a big dynamic. Good karma is represented by the elk and bad karma is represented by the wolf. So the game is clearly pointing out that karma is a big deal. We are currently working on a good karma playthrough here at the channel. But there's also nature that seems to be involved in that karma. Just like I said, at the Native American burial site, not only does it create rain, but it gives you bad karma if you attack the site. And it seems to be doing the same thing here. So I haven't tried this before. Shout out to Trippy Napalm. There's a couple of weird looking artifacts around here as well. You can see a lot of, what is that, pots. There's this one, which is very interesting looking. What is on there? Let me know if you guys have any ideas. Definitely a lot of detail. I guess that's a drum. Interesting, interesting. Too bad we can't play the drum. So I'm going to throw the fire bottle at this. By the way, this place is called the Wiki Up. I did some research on Wiki Up, and it seems to be pretty much for the Nomad Indians. In other words, this is more of a temporary setup. Possibly the same Indians that created the burial site right next to Mount Shan created this as well. According to Trippy Napalm, you do get bad karma, but a rainstorm will not start. Instead, it will just be lightning, so watch out guys. In fact, listen up because I'm going to turn up the audio after we set this place ablaze and we're going to listen up for the lightning, or in this case, I guess the thunder. Here we go, fire in the hole. Sorry, Native Americans, there's the bad karma. I think it'll only work once. Set everything on fire. Let me turn up the audio, guys. Try to notice anything happening. Definitely seems like something is changing other than the fact that we're on fire. Stop, drop, and roll! I thought I heard something subtly in the background. Let me play the footage from Trippy Napalm. It's definitely not raining though. You got that same bad karma effect from the burial site. But it seems to be more subtle changes. Let's check out Trippy Napalm's footage. He says, this is the weather trigger. Wiki up. If you burn a hut, you get thunder, bad karma, no rain. So he sets two of them on fire. You can definitely notice things change right away. And then pretty soon you'll hear the thunder with no rain. There's a lightning in the distance. There's the thunder. Another interesting place that you guys have to come check out right next to Aurora Basin. It just shows you that I think the Native Americans are involved with karma. You have different endings in the game. The next location I have to show you is one of the most well-hidden treasures in the game. You're going to want to come to this location on the map right next to the G underneath Ainsburg. Now you'll find an arrow on the tree. A lot of people hit me up about this and at first I thought it might be a glitch. It looks like a branch that kind of looks like an arrow, but it's legit an arrow. It points you to the next tree. You can find the arrow here and the trail begins. Here's another arrow and it basically brings you deeper and deeper into the forest. So with so many people hitting me up, I still could not find the end of the trail. But shout out to one of the members of the Trippy Fam, Capinology. Here's another arrow right here. Man, how are you supposed to keep following this stuff? I'll show you guys that it leads you to a very well hidden bar of gold underneath a rock. So let's follow the trail and I'll meet you guys at the end. We finally made it. I had to walk so far guys. We had to start off way over here at the horse. I crossed the dude who was looking for Gavin, had to cross this huge field, making it up to the top of the waterfall to find the X in the tree. So this is where the trail ends off. But it still really doesn't tell you what to do. How are you supposed to know about this, guys? Is it this rock here? 
There it is. Okay, so you got the X on the tree, and then you have to come to this random rock and then inspect it just to find the gold. So just another secret location in the game. And considering we don't have too much money as John, the gold definitely will help. There's one more secret location I have to show off in this episode. If you guys have any that you want us to share here at the channel, make sure to hit me up on Twitter at TrippyComs. For the last hidden secret in this video, I figured because we're controlling John, we might as well come to the most out of the way place we could possibly get to, all the way in the post game at the southwest point of the map. Now you can probably see that X. That's something I wanted to let you guys know to always be on the lookout for those X's because they signify dead bodies. Dead animals are symbolized by a paw print. So if you see one of those X's, that is a dead human somewhere. There's a lot in the game. They're hard to find. So at least Red Dead Redemption 2 kind of helps you out by putting those X's. I've not seen this for myself. I haven't really explored New Austin too much. So it looks like we're going to have to drop down. Hopefully I do not fall off the edge. This looks very dangerous. How the heck did this guy even get down here? Are you kidding me? All right, so there's the birds flying away. Shizen, maybe this was not the best way to go down. Uh, I think we can drop. You can do this, John. You may not be able to swim, but you are a master mountain climber. So we have made it. Get out of here. Whoa. Okay, that thing probably would have attacked us. So here it is. It looks like the bird was, I guess, eating this dead body, and we can inspect it. There's not too much to find in New Austin as far as hidden secrets are concerned. Let us inspect it. John, what the heck is happening? Okay, so we got a letter. And I think normally you're supposed to put an actual drawing in your journal, but it glitched out there. Let me know if you guys have found this for yourself, but let's inspect the letter. Letter to Brother Rodolfo. An old letter from 1797. Wow, that's a long time ago. From a cardinal to a missionary. I'm not sure if it's going to be anything too interesting. Okay, it looks like we can inspect it, so we'll be able to still put it in our journal. Letter to Brother Rodolfo. Hopefully I pronounced that right. My dear Brother Rodolfo. So I'm sure this is a sad story. This is just something that makes the game so great to have so much lore, so much backstory that you can read. You can easily miss this altogether, but it's pretty awesome finding this letter to Cardinal Blanco. Rest in peace. Corpse, rest in peace. Let's inspect it. Found a poor man from a long time ago. Chilled me for some reason. Yeah, I kind of understand considering it seems to have been dead for a while. Definitely quite chilling. But thanks again for checking out the video. The next one is going to be a huge episode, so watch out for that. Hit the like button, guys. That is much appreciated. I'm trying to show off every hidden Easter egg in all of Red Dead Redemption 2. So wish me luck. Stay tuned. I got a lot to show off here. Trippy commentaries. Much love. Catch you guys next time. Stay trippy, my friends.